We don't care. Let me tell you. Right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. Jerry. All right, so you clicked on this video because you want to know what are the best NVIDIA filter settings for Warzone Pacific Season 2. I'm not going to, you know, beat around the bush or anything like that. Let's just get right into it. All right. First thing up, you want to hit Alt Z on your keyboard. This is going to bring up your GeForce experience. Unfortunately, my recording software isn't going to allow me to show you what I'm doing at the same time. So I'm going to have all the numbers on screen. But again, you're going to hit Alt F3, go to the left and hit Game Filter. You should have this little pop up thing on the on the left here that says Game Filter. Go ahead and click your styles one, two, or three. It does not matter. Just make sure it's not on off and go ahead and add a filter. The first one you're going to choose is brightness and contrast. And you're going to want to put this at the bottom, basically the, the first one you want to choose. Starting from the top down, we're going to go with exposure at negative 8%, contrast at negative 35%, highlights at negative 30%, shadows at negative 10%, and gamma, go ahead and leave that at 0%. So you wanna have these settings basically to kind of balance out uh, and basically just make the game look a little bit more smooth. You know, it, sometimes like the brightness contrast is kind of wonky in some areas on the map. You know, sometimes like underground is very dark. Sometimes when you go outside, it's way too bright. This filter overall will just kind of condense the game into making it pretty smooth throughout. You know, the, the lights won't be too bright and the darks won't be too dark. Next filter you're gonna to wanna to select is color. Go ahead and select that. Your tint color is gonna be 0%. Tint intensity at 0%, temperature at 0% or 0, you know, 0.0, 0, 0 and vibrance. Go ahead and bump that up to basically as high as you want. I'm personally going to range between the 60 to 70 range. Uh, I know some people who go up to 80. I know some people who stay lo as low as 40, but uh, essentially this is your saturation in the game. How red do you want to see the trees? How, you know, I don't know, just, yeah, basically how intense do you want to see the color scheme on this game? I like it way more colorful than it probably needs to be, but that's just my personal preference. And the last filter we need for NVIDIA GeForce here is Sharpen. You're going to have the intensity up to 55 to 65%. Again, personal preference. I lean a little bit lower towards 55%, but again, it's up to you. And the Ignore Film Grain, we're going to leave that at 0%. And that, my friends, is it for the NVIDIA GeForce filters. All right, it's it's not that hard. Um, again, you need NVIDIA to to have this, you know? So if you, I don't wanna see any comments like, oh, I don't know how to get this. It's literally just NVIDIA filters. If you don't have NVIDIA, you're not gonna have it. Uh, if it doesn't work for you somehow, if somehow you like, don't see it or it doesn't work or something, maybe try updating your drivers or something that I would recommend is trying to roll back your other drivers to another, you know, older, older driver set. And you could do that just by searching like NVIDIA driver, uh, December, 2021 or something like that, or January, 2022, you know, whichever one you, you want to try sometimes like, you know, recording doesn't work. Sometimes your filters won't work. Uh, if, if that's the case, again, just roll it back or update it, whatever works for you. Like I said, that's it for the GeForce part of it, but I do want to go over the rest of the settings for Warzone Pacific 2 uh, because you guys are here. Why not? Right. So you're going to want to go hit options here, hit graphics quality. I think you guys know this probably your FOV. I set it as high as possible. I'd recommend setting as high as possible. Uh, some people like it a little bit lower, like 110 or something like that. You know, it's it's up to you for Warzone, whatever. You know, I feel like people on controller are usually going to have it a little bit lower, but that's just my guess. Camera movement, you want it at least 50 percent. All right. I don't want it as much as possible. Uh, and again, keep in mind that these settings right here that I'm about to go through are for mid to high end PCs. Okay, these are not for like laptops. These are not for, you know, your iPhone 4. Okay, these are for mid to high end PCs. People who are a bit more serious about gaming and want to do better. Uh, so these are settings that hopefully will help you do better. Streaming quality, you want it at normal. You know, again, if you're on a low end PC, you'd want to sound low. Essentially, if you're on a low end PC or like an iPhone 4 or whatever, you'd have everything at low. All right, it's not that hard. There's nothing you really need probably like 99% of the things would be on low and like 1% would be on like medium to high, you know, that's kind of how it is. I don't really get, you know, best setting videos that are for low NPCs. It's, it's just low settings, you know, it's not that hard. Texture resolution does matter to a degree. I don't know if you need it on high, you could probably get away with normal, but I like it on high because my computer can run it. Texture filter, put it on high. Particle quality doesn't matter as much in game or like doesn't matter that much on your PC. Uh, it doesn't like take away. So like, for instance, if I drop it down, it, you don't see on the bottom right there that it moves the VRAM usage. So go ahead and leave that on high. Bullet impacts and sprays doesn't matter that much either, but I'm gonna leave that on enabled. Tessellation, it does matter to a degree, 
Um, but I personally just like the way things look with the tessellation, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that on all. If you find that you're dropping frames on any of these things, go ahead and drop them down to either disabled or medium. You know, you don't, you don't have to go to low, but uh, definitely drop it down if you're noticing that you're losing frames. Dismemberment and gore effects doesn't really matter that much, so it doesn't matter if it's on or off. Uh, on texture demand streaming, I honestly didn't even notice this was here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and leave that on standard because I didn't notice anything. Filmic strength, uh, doesn't matter. You know, put that on one. Film grain, definitely put this on zero. This is very annoying. This is just basically how, like, you see on the picture on the right here, this is how disorienting it becomes. Like, you don't want that. NVIDIA DLSS, you do want this um, for most people. I'm not gonna say for every single person, but you need an NVIDIA GeForce RTX graphics card to have it. Uh, so if you do, you know, some people run Ultra. I think 4K, like performance is the best, uh, just because it's like a balance of high performance and balanced. You know, sometimes like you get super high performance, but then you drop frames or something like that. It's, it's not worth it for me. So my personal NVIDIA DLSS is performance. Uh, depth of field, I'm gonna have that as enabled. I think that's personal preference but I believe most people have that as enabled. Motion blurs, both turn them off, unless you're trying to go for like some trick shots or something like that, uh, or some clip or whatever, you know, motion blur you don't really need. Shadow map resolution, again, I'm putting on high, low NPC, put it on low. Cache or cache spot, you know, cache sun, just turn them on. Particle lighting, again, doesn't really matter that much. I'm gonna just leave it on uh, high. You can get away with ultra, eh, whatever. Ray tracing is a huge thing. You can see here, if I if I move it left or right, it's, it's moving a lot left or right. Uh, I like the way it looks and my computer can run it. However, I would say most people, even like mid NPCs probably should not have ray tracing on. Uh, this is for high NPCs or if you just want like amazing graphics and that's all you care about which is kind of what I'm doing here. Um, again, do, I, don't, I wouldn't recommend it unless you have a bonkers good PC. Next up is ambient occlusion. Uh, just leave that on both, why not, right? Screen space uh, reflection, I'm just gonna leave that at normal. You can get away with high if you want or just turn to low or off for low NPCs. So I'm gonna hit apply settings there. The other thing I wanna go through is the audio real quick. I like boost low. I've heard a lot of people say boost high is the way to go, but for me, boost low helps with footsteps and that's mostly what I care about. You know, boost high sometimes, like I can hear footsteps, but I can also hear kill streaks, like way too loud and things like that. I just don't, I'm just not a big fan. Master volume, I, I have that generally pretty low, but I'll turn it up sometimes. And like, if I'm playing like solo war zone to like 30 or something like that, but generally, you know, probably between 15 to 20. Uh, dialogue volume, pretty low, not super low. You Sometimes you need to hear stuff. Effects volume is what you want to have. This is where you're going to hear all your footsteps. So you definitely need that. This doesn't matter. Juggernaut music doesn't matter. Sound effects, obviously personal preference. And the rest of these things are pretty self-explanatory. You know, voice, chat volume. I mean, yeah, you can turn that up if you want. Uh, but that's essentially it. Didn't want to go through it too much and didn't want to just like kind of sit through and bore you guys to death. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys learned something. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Uh, I will have more commentaries going on in the future, but I just want to make this video hopefully to reach, you know, a new audience, people who are just looking into stuff for Warzone, just looking for some content creators to watch. Uh, and that's me, baby. So thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new, leave a like. Thanks so much. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day, guys. And... Peace.